before answering that question, it's important to define the two concepts of market integrity and market e efficiency. So market integrity uh, in, 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 in layman's terms refers to fairness. It, it refers to things like um, in, in market abuse, we, we need to make sure that uh, uh, with regards to insider trading, market manipulation, um, uh, fronting uh, traders on the market, uh, trade on the basis of information which is available to everybody and the markets are fair. So um, market efficiency on the other side deals with issues of transparency. So there we're talking about transaction costs and we're talking about price discovery. So in short, if you look at Section 2 of the Financial Markets Act, which um, um, deals with the objects of the Act, we, we, we in short, what market efficiency and integrity would entail, it would entail uh, fairness, um, orderliness, uh, transparency, um, managing systemic risk, uh, investor protection, and local and domestic competitiveness of, of the South African financial market. Yeah, I, I mean, the most notable project we are working on is the review of the Financial Markets Act, which is our sectoral legislation in terms of which we regulate our financial markets in South Africa. So we've embarked on a process together with uh, the National Treasury and the Reserve Bank uh, and our counterparts on that side to review the Financial Markets Act to basically update it to align with international uh, best practice. So that's one of the biggest projects that uh, we have uh, started looking at. Uh, but also because in the past two, three years in South Africa, we've seen introduction of competition in the exchanges space. So uh, because of that, we've had to come up with minimum standards for those new exchanges to play on a level playing field. So we are currently working on a draft conduct standard for exchanges. Uh, and and, and this, the, the draft conduct standards, as I mentioned, will have minimum um, standards for all those exchanges, for example, I mean, in terms of corporate actions, uh, things like best execution, how do they um, conduct themselves with regards to those types of things. We're also looking at a short selling reporting regime in South Africa. Currently, we don't have any short selling reporting regime. IOSCO principles require that every IOSCO member should have a short selling reporting regime. So. Um, as a member of IOSCO, we have commenced a process to draft a uh, standard to deal with uh, short selling. Um, the other notable uh, project which we are working on is a project on securities financing transactions. So there's, there's quite a few that we're working on, but you know those are the few that I can think of that that we're working on. The other one that I mentioned earlier on is the uh, equivalence framework for external market infrastructures. So market infrastructures are the entities that we regulate as the, as the market integrity division. So when a local market infrastructure applies, so there is a regulatory framework for them. So we're trying to uh, level the playing field so that when you are a market infrastructure ba from elsewhere in the world coming into South Africa, you play according to similar rules. So that's basically what we're working on. So um, locally, I mean, since the introduction of the Twin Peaks model of regulation, we have signed an MOU with the Prudential Authority um, and that MOU basically spells out the protocols in terms of which how ourselves and 
and the, and the prudential authority engage because the Financial Sector Regulation Act uh, contains provisions in terms of which there needs to be concurrence on certain matters that we deal with as core regulators. So the notable one is the issue of an MOU and there's also some subcommittees that we have set up. Uh, the, uh, the one that comes to mind is the licensing a sub-working committee where we need to discuss matters of common interest uh, with, with the Prudential Authority. Yeah, I mean, as I said, I mean, th that MOU basically regulates the relationship between ourselves and the Prudential Authority. But to answer that question that you asked earlier on, specifically with regards to internationally how we we, we, we work with our counterparts elsewhere in the world. We are a member of IOSCO, which is an international organization of securities commissions. So our regulation, the Financial Markets Act, is based on IOS, IOSCO international best practice. So, and regionally there is CISNA, uh, which is for the SADC region. So as the FSCA, we are a member of CISNA. Um, I'm part of the Capital Markets Committee of CISNA. So next week, for example, I'll be going to CISNA meeting in Mauritius. So we, where we discuss matters of common interest. So and the idea is to harmonize within the region. But at international level, um, where we meet with other members from other parts of the world, IOSCO is the international standard which everybody who is a member of IOSCO must um, comply with.